everyone and welcome to my very first core tutorial and actually this will also be my very first core community content that goes live to the public so I hope you guys enjoy this we're gonna go jump right into this what this CC does is it gives you custom death animations super fun stuff I'm gonna show you guys how this CC works how to customize it and that's it then you can use it for any game you'd like okay I figured to start off here I'm hoping this video will be two or three minutes long we'll keep it short and simple I'm gonna show you guys how to import this into a new project from scratch so we'll go to create new and we'll start an empty project here we'll just call it testing animations and create that make sure that our view is in default just so everyone can follow along with us very simply here and the first thing I like to do in any project is just throw some grass on this ground so we're not looking at that blue cube we're gonna go to community content but this is going to be death animations by doc B design right here I'll, I'll move it up over my camera and then put it back below as well this is the CC that you are looking for you're going to import it into your project just click yes save and then right here you should see death animations by doc b design go ahead and drag and drop that right into your hierarchy right here and i will explain what we have here very simply so in this folder we have a corpse explosions folder this is the only thing you need to add to your game in order to see the explosions or whatever effect you want to play upon player deaths this folder right here we have a readme file that's down here. This is great. I included a kill block as well so that when you're testing, you can run over, hit the kill block, and just test whichever effect is playing. Super simple. Hoping that's just convenient as everyone is testing this out. So here, here is the readme file right here. You guys are more than welcome to read through this. It's short and simple. This is the whole thing right here. Just one page. Hopefully this is easy enough to read through, but I know some people are visual learners and some of the readme files can be a bit confusing. I'm guessing mine might be. I tried to keep it as clear and as simple as possible, but just in case anyone needs any help, here we are with this YouTube video. Now, the corpse explosions here. This is how you control the animation that plays on death. Right here in the custom properties, there's the explosion template. Upon downloading this CC, the confetti cube burst animation is the template. This one right here is the example that will play. To make your own or to test any of these other templates out, you want to come into any of these folders. We will use, um, let's see, one of, one of my favorite ones. You guys are welcome to try any of these out. There's descriptions with every single one of them. At the very end of the video, I'll try to get a highlight reel with all six of the ones that are included so you guys can see them. But one of my favorite ones is the fire smiting animation, which comes with this set of burnt bones right here. So to show you guys how to create your own or how to set up one of these existing templates, I'm, I'm just going to walk you through it right here. So you're going to select the folder that you want. You can copy and paste any of these, try them out. First, what we want to do is de-instance the entire death animations folder and then we can come in here we'll grab the fire smiting folder and we will create a new template from this right here it's called fire smiting animation perfect and you can see the confetti cube burst animation will already be in here the fire smiting animation we just created that and to test this out it's as simple as clicking over here on the corpse explosions this folder right here is the key to controlling everything. You take this fire smiting animation, plug it in right here, drag and drop it, and that's it. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. Press play. You can, all, you can see the examples of all of those effects just by pressing play. Of course, then they clear out so all of those objects don't stay present in your game. But then you can test out the new one that you just plugged in which for us was this fire smiting with burnt bones left behind in a little flame. If you're looking to make your own animation, I really suggest you try out these six first and see which one is the closest to what you want. 
I've included six of these again all of them will play at the end of the video really quick but I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own custom one if you want to based on the bloody skeleton explosion right here we're gonna copy and paste this guy we're gonna move him forward so he's apart from the other explosions over here and we're gonna rename him right away we're gonna name this gold skeleton explosion this is this is the question that I've been getting this is what I did for Doc's deathmatch right here it's pretty simple and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so you're gonna open up whatever folder you're in the gold skeleton explosion and come down here to the debris folder you're gonna open this debris folder and all of these human bones if you open these two physics folders as well right here you'll see there's two more bone pieces here and here all of these bones are the pieces that end up flying around or exploding out from the center of the explosion now really simply I'm gonna go in here to core content and I'm gonna show you guys how to create the gold skeleton so you can add this this is what I did for Doc's deathmatch you guys are more than welcome to add this to your own game you're gonna select all of these bone pieces you can also grab the two in these folders down here scroll up on the properties we'll see the bone raw material in core content search for the metal beaten gold material and just drag and drop that now we have a golden skeleton we'll move the properties window back down we'll close everything up right here we're gonna find our gold skeleton explosions animation right here and again right click create new template from this it's called gold skeleton explosion that works perfectly new template Boom. now I didn't change the explosion effect or the sound effect if you want to do that there's really easy instructions on how to do it in the readme file but essentially you just replace the VFX right here and the sound effect right here very simple to do now to add the gold skeleton explosion into the game we're gonna come back to this corpse explosions the main folder open up the properties window and scroll all the way down to the bottom which looks like this we're gonna find the explosion explosion template and drag and drop our gold skeleton explosion right in there we've just replaced it we can come into the preview here I'll open up this window as much as I can so we get good a good view of this and again this kill block is back here just so you can test it And there are the gold bones from Doc's Deathmatch. It's that easy to customize and set up yourself. Now, as the video plays out here, we will cut to these animations of all six of these CC animations playing. Again, you guys are welcome to use these in any game you want. Please try them out. Please customize them. Use them to your liking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to thumbs up the CC when you use it. Enjoy!